In this video, we're going to look at yet another example of an integration by parts uh, or technique for solving an integral. But in this case, we want to do an example that is involving doing a definite integral. We'll see how we handle those limits of integration. So we're asked to evaluate the definite integral from 4 to 9 of natural log of y over root y dy. Again, just as a general rule of thumb, you're going to typically let u equal to piece is going to get simpler when you take its derivative. So in this case, if I differentiate natural log of y, the natural log goes away. You get a power of y. You get y to the negative 1, or 1 over y. That's a lot easier to deal with from an integration standpoint. So we're going to let our u equal natural log of y. Then our du is going to be 1 over y dy. That's going to leave dv being y to the negative 1 half if I move that square root of y up to the top, dy. And then I take an antiderivative there. Antiderivative for that is going to be a 2y to the 1 half. So now when we replace our integral using our integration by parts formula, u times v is 2y to the 1 half log y. I have to evaluate that piece for the limits. So I need to evaluate that from 4 to 9. Then we have minus the integral of v du. When I take v times du, we get a constant of 2 that we can move in front of the integral. We've got a y to the 1 half times a y to the negative 1. If we add the exponents, we get a y to the negative 1 half. We've already anti-differentiated that once before. Its antiderivative is 2y to the 1 half. There's already a 2 out in front here. So we get 4y to the 1 half as an antiderivative here. And we need to evaluate that from 4 to 9. So I can either put them both together and evaluate it or indi uh, individually. So here I've done them individually. Here's, this would be what we get when we plug in 9 for y into the first piece and plug in 4 for y into the first piece. And then likewise doing the same thing for the second piece. If you go through your arithmetic and apply some properties of logs, you can get to a final answer of 12 natural log of 3 minus 8 log 2 minus 4.